All right, everyone, today is the day that we're going to be doing the installation for the PowerBlock USA Elite stainless steel grips. I've had the normal power blocks, as you saw from my last video, for about a year and a half. I use them probably two to three times a week. They just hold up exceptionally well. I have up to the 90 pounds, but as soon as I saw the stainless steel grips come on, I just figured, heck, I'm going to buy them because I like power block. I want to support the company. They're USA made. As I said before, if I can buy USA made stuff, even for a little bit more premium, I will do that. Um, so I have the grips in my hands here. They are really great quality. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that. I'll show some close ups as we go through, but it's just going to be an installation video on how you actually do it. And then at the end, I'll pop back in there with some initial impressions. So if you like the content that I'm providing, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more of this and doing some more reviews and just overall check-ins. So thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll try to make this as more as least boring as possible. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you in a second. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. So just want to show you the initial things that come with it. Of course, the directions come with it. The two knurled stainless grips. Looks like some spacers there and some Loctite. And you know, you have your handles here, which I just have. So the one thing that doesn't come in there, which I'm a little surprised to be a little honest from power block is the 3 16 inch Allen wrench. I am, however, going to be using the 3 16 inch, if I get in focus here, just the driver. I'm going to put it on the end of one of my sockets just to make it a little bit easier and we'll kind of go through there. So that is all that you need. Seems super simple. I'll go through the directions as we go through here and um, let me know if there's any questions. All right. Okay, so I installed the one so then you didn't have to watch me do both. You can see the differences here. Really no difference. The spacer, it's just really hard to see. It's just right up in here because these are a little bit shorter than the other one. So if I put the the old one up here, kind of get down and zoom in. So this one, stainless knurled, is just a little bit bigger on the end cap here, which is why they have the little spacer for that that goes right on there. I think I'm going to really like this. I'm going to show you the install here, less than three, four minutes at the most, and um, I'll be off and running. So be back in one second. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is just take the, the handles off here. So I'm going to, I have my little wrench right there, 3 16 as I said earlier. I'm going to do this a little quicker. Try not to, to break anything in the process while I'm doing it. So I, the easiest way I found to do this is taking off one of them. Turn it over, taking out the top here. Just trying not to get everything to fly everywhere. Just kind of like that, almost did. Okay, so here we go. Here, put this back in this one the way it is. So there's a little notch here. You'll see, which goes right here on the end. So I'm gonna put this grip over here. So you see in the video here, there's a little notch and it goes right here. So when you put that in there, there's no way you can get confused about turning this around. So take off the other side and then this grip will come off of there. Easiest way to do it is just hold this here and take it off like that because it's kind of on there a decent amount and that I found is actually the easiest way of doing it sorry if the camera angle is not necessarily the greatest but I don't know how I can get a better angle okay so there's the other grip I showed before Here's the one, here's that. So they want you to install 
this one first. Just gonna take off this and put it to the side. And always just make sure what, uh, what you have here. So here's the old bolt. Grab some Loctite. I don't know if this is necessarily like completely uh, necessary, but I'll put a little bit on here just to kind of, because that's what the directions say. Put a little Loctite on there. The big end here. Put that all right over there. I found the easiest way of doing this is just turning this over. Just making sure that we're lined up here. Put the screw in there first. Then you can kind of see what you're doing. And screw, as you're holding your finger up on the top here, just screw here so you can actually get it going. Okay, so I got it going. Now I can just do the ratchet. As I'm holding the bottom, don't worry about it being like completely lined up at this point. You're just trying to get the bolt into there. So you see now bolts in there, the spacers there, like I said earlier. So after this, it goes relatively quickly. So before you really get it tightened up, turn it over just to make sure that you're lined up here. And this is actually the way you want it to be. So put that in there, give it a good, you know, half quarter turn. And now we could actually do the other side. So it's the same process. What I found is the easiest here is putting here. Remember the, the notch that I was talking about. Line those two up here with the notch because you don't really want to flip this over the other way there. And then I'm actually going to put these right here. But if you look here too, there's one side that's actually a little bit longer than the other. It's going to be really hard to see in the video, but this side's actually a little bit longer. So that's going to be going in the side of the handle because it's really hard to see, but here, these are a little bit deeper than these. So just look at that because I had a little trouble with that the first one. So and we're going to snug it up here and we should be good. And I think we're all set. All right. So I'll edit out some of that stuff as I did, but you can see super nice now. Looks great. Really nice in the hand, nothing too crazy neural wise. So I really like it. All right, so there's the finished product. I think they look awesome. I'm gonna really love them. The Neuralene feels great, as I said. The one thing just to make sure you test is just check the open and close here. I had one of them over here that it wouldn't close on the side, so what I had to do is just turn one of the bottom things there where I showed you that has the inlet. I just had to turn a little bit and kind of locked in itself. So just do a little testing before you actually start lifting to make sure you're safe. And uh, I appreciate you uh, watching this. If you have any questions about this, just let me know. And uh, Take care. Happy lifting to you.